the question internally is, do I choose convenience over the good of all? Or do I choose the good of all over convenience? I guess the answer to that question would come down to what is more important for me? What is more important for you? And if you're somebody who chooses that the good of all is better and more important than my convenience, then you are perfect to be part of this new humanity because that's what new humanity really is. It's about people like you and I who see the value in choosing the good of all over my personal convenience, choosing this set of value systems that benefit the earth above all else. People who choose that direction, choose that set of ideas, choose that level of consciousness are part of the new humanity. Hi guys, this is Linda from Brain Education TV. If this is your first time, welcome to our channel. Please subscribe, like this video, and click the bell for notifications of each new episode. In this video, I'll be talking about the need for a new humanity and the new humanity pledge. So what is a new humanity and why do we need it? Before I get into that topic, I think we need to do a little bit of a backtrack and reflect on the state of the earth that we are in right now. There are multiple wars going on. The political system is at a standstill. The economy is collapsing. The job market is horrible. There are more layoffs now than ever before. And also banks are crashing left and right. The education system has been turned upside its head with the rise of AI and chat GPT. And the coronavirus pandemic has shown us that no religion is immune from COVID-19. All of this, and in addition, climate change, which is changing more rapidly than ever before. Temperatures are rising, glaciers are melting, we're seeing strange weather patterns across the world, earthquakes, tsunamis, and the level of carbon dioxide in the air far exceeds the recommended amount by scientists. So all this is to say is that the backdrop in which we are living in right now for this idea of new humanity to come forth, there is so much chaos, confusion, and instability in the world today. So this idea of new humanity, what does it mean? It's a call for people to start living with a new set of values. Again, if I were to backtrack, since the Industrial Revolution, and even maybe before the Industrial Revolution, for the last at least 200, 300, and then beyond years, our societies and civilization have come to this point, this day and age today, because they were driven by a certain set of values. Those values include success, money, competition, fame, and power. Those values really drove human beings to create unimaginable amounts of scientific advancements, unimaginable amounts of convenience, so many things that came about, material goods that came about from the start of civilization to now were all driven by those set of values. Even in school, even since we were young, we were taught to succeed, we were taught to compete, and we were taught to make a lot of money by all means necessary. And although those values have really given us all these advancements and conveniences that we can see in this day and age, the problem and the million dollar question is, why are we not healthier, happier, and more peaceful as a humanity? Now is truly a time as we come transition out of the pandemic and the pandemic brought so many things to light, so many things right in front of our faces that we couldn't avoid any longer. I feel like everything has just come to a head to this point and we're at a point where we have to choose. Do we keep going like this or do we really reevaluate and change the direction that we're going towards? And so what we're proposing now in our brain education community is that from here on out, we change those old set of values, like I mentioned success, fame, money, power control. We change those sets of values over to now earth-centric values. It's about changing your lifestyle, changing your habit towards that direction. Sure, it may mean that your life will be less convenient than choosing the other way. However, the question internally is, do I choose convenience over the good of all? Or do I choose the good of all over convenience? I guess the answer to that question would come down to what is more important for me? What is more important for you? And if you're somebody who chooses that 
the good of all is better and more important than my convenience, then you are perfect to be part of this new humanity. Because that's what new humanity really is. It's about people like you and I who see the value in choosing the good of all over my personal convenience, choosing this set of value systems that benefit the earth above all else. People who choose that direction, choose that set of ideas, choose that level of consciousness are part of the new humanity. And that's all what new humanity means. So if you want to be part of this movement, if you want to be part of this new humanity, we created a website, newhumanitypledge.org. And on this website, you can see all the background information about it. So the background of why we call for the birth of a new humanity. You can also see how many other people pledged and signed. There's information about how this came to life, what we can do for our future. And then here, if you go to this part of the website, proposed actions, you can see some of the action steps that you can think about as part of this new humanity to create a better future for humanity. What can I do every day? So let's read this together. So the proposed actions of the New Humanity Pledge say, as members of a new humanity, we commit ourselves to the following actions. One, caring for our physical, mental, and emotional wellness naturally and proactively whenever possible and helping others do the same. Two, living in harmony with nature by reducing our carbon footprint, conserving energy and water, and protecting natural habitats and biodiversity. Three, Promoting peace and harmonious coexistence by fostering dialogue, respect, and understanding across cultures, religions, and nations. 4. Supporting mindful use of technology and sustainable and equitable economic development through responsible consumption, production, and investment. 5. Educating ourselves and others about the urgent need for change, the opportunities for action, and stories of success and encouraging others to join us in the effort to save the planet. And then the final part of the pledge is, I pledge to become part of a new humanity and to make creating coexistence on Earth my personal responsibility and priority. We want to create a hundred million people who take this pledge. Why? Because we want a hundred million people who can agree that we do need some kind of change on Earth. And we, as part of the new humanity, are committed to taking action for those new changes that we need on Earth today. It's only through taking action that we can bring a better tomorrow. If you already have the thought, if you already have the intention, if you already have the desire to create a better world for everybody, now is the time to take action to manifest your thoughts into reality. So I invite you to go on the website, read through all of the information so you're more educated about it, and then become inspired to sign the pledge, take the pledge, and join the people who have already signed the pledge and committed, yes, I will be somebody who places the earth as a priority over success, money, and fame so that we can transition into this new paradigm and create a truly thriving, healthy, happy, and peaceful world that is sustainable for human beings, for animals, for nature, our climate, all of our systems that we have on earth so that we can create a better tomorrow for everybody. I will leave you with one saying that indigenous people from New Zealand, the Maori people, say about the earth, and that is, we don't inherit the earth from our ancestors. We merely borrow it from our children. Thank you so much. I hope that you can join us in this movement to create a new humanity on Earth. I'll see you next time on this channel in another video. Bye!